routine these days was so hectic so many labs presentation assignments but guess what i've got four days of holidays and i'll satisfy my brain by covering endocrinology so let's go so i just made my to-do list and grabbed my laptop i've opened boards and beyond endocrinology folder and marked thyroid gland lectures as today's target I also have a physical copy of BNB book which I use alongside these lectures. Without wasting further time, I opened the thyroid gland slides and started studying it. If you guys need the BNB lectures or slides, I'll share my WhatsApp channel link in the description below. Just join the channel and drop a comment below and I'll send them through the channel. So just completed the first lecture and the very first slides were composed of anatomy and embryology because this is how BNB works. They'll first cover the anatomy and embryology of every system uh, but I think it was too surface and uh, I'll just uh, grab the Gray's anatomy uh, because I want to revise it thoroughly. I'll just open this page, the abdominal organs. Okay, so pancreas is here and I'll start from pancreas and I'll revise it quickly. high yield topic in this lecture was thyroid hormone synthesis and guess what i have made a mnemonic right now and let me share it with you suppose a robber broke into your home and somehow you catch him so now you give him two choices either you kill him or you hand him over to the cops so ix or cops means either i'll kill you or i'll hand you over to the cops now i4 iodine intake x4 uh, oxidation uh, ix or cops or for organification and cop for coupling so this is kind of weird but this is how i remember things done with the mental workout now let's go to the gym for physical workout <laughs> When I got back from the gym, it was already 9 p.m. So I completed my remaining lectures and went to bed. After waking up, I took some fresh air. I went to freshen up. Made myself a nice cup of tea and enjoyed it from my window. So it's 8 in the morning and I'm just going to start my lectures but I think today is going to be a little difficult because uh, I have to cover the pancreas portion of endocrinology from board and beyond. Besides these lectures, I also have to cover the pharmacology of diabetes from Kaplan and speed pharmacology. So let's... <music> It's almost 6 p.m. right now and I've just covered the pancreas portion from the boards and beyonds. Whenever I get bored from my studies, so usually what I do is that I change the place of my study and the same we'll do today. So let's go to some cafe and enjoy Kaplan and Speed Pharmacology. I spent about three and a half hours in the Ray Cafe and covered the whole pharmacology section and I started loving speed pharmacology even more. On my way back to the flat, I went to the mall and did some grocery. And I ended my day too by cooking myself a meal. I 
don't want to bore you with day three, but it was almost the same. On day three, I caught the reproductive hormones and the pituitary glands. I invited my friends over for dinner. I made spicy biryani and roasted chicken for them. And I spent some quality time with them. Ending day 3 with this beautiful room. On the last day, I came to this peaceful place. My hostel room. Too boring, right? Let's move to the next part. Something like what it should be. Cortisol alters. This is how I piled up on last lectures and locked in everything on endocrine system. I know I didn't do great, but at least I did something. And right now, I'm happy with that effort. That sigh of relief, when you know you are on the right track, is another level of happiness. Moreover, I was very afraid of making a vlog like this, recording myself, but then I told myself that if people out there can flex smoking, drinking and partying, then there's no point in hesitating in doing so. Hope you enjoyed it. I want your support so that I can keep making my study with me episodes. Thank you. Bye bye.